Good evening to all and welcome to the session, the Hindu Editorial Analysis for Proficiency in English. Am I audible? I want you guys to respond. Today, you may not see me. There is a problem with the video, the image, and uh, I would like to know if the audio is perfect. If you guys say yes, I'll start the session. Today's editorial is related to environment, an important editorial. Uh, I'm not visible. I won't be visible today. There's a problem with the video only for one day. Thanks for responding. Audible, fine. An important editorial. Let us start the session with editorial vocabulary. What is the first word, compel? Compel is a verb. It's a regular verb. What is the meaning? To force or strongly persuade someone to do something. Usually, to force. Compel has a negative connotation. To force or strongly persuade someone to do something. The evidence presented at the trial will compel the jury to reconsider its decision. Will force the jury to reconsider its decision. Word forms, compel is a verb, past form, compelled, and the present participle, compelling. Word combinations, compel obedience, compel action, compel attention. But if you take the ING form, sometimes we do say compelling movie means captivating. Synonyms, force, oblige, urge. Antonyms, allow, permit, discourage. An important word, uh, coercive. Very good. Our students have come up with uh, more synonyms. Compel, conduces, compel, persuade, insist, urge, exhort. Okay. Second word, indigenous. An important word. Part of speech adjective. Native to a particular region or environment. Originating or produced in a particular place. Look at the example. The indigenous flora and fauna of the Amazon rainforest are facing threats from deforestation. There are two important words over here. Flora and fauna. Flora means what? Plants of a particular region. Fauna means animals of a particular region. The indigenous people, the indigenous flora, the indigenous fauna, an important word. Indigenous, only one form. Word combinations, indigenous culture, indigenous people, indigenous species. Indigenous industries also we can say. Because of MNCs, many indigenous industries got wiped out. Here you can use the word exotic. Exotic means a foreign, unusual. The word exotic has two different meanings. I appreciate the way you guys are responding. Exotic, one meaning, foreign, exotic locales, exotic locations. Another meaning exotic means something unusual. Exotic flora, exotic fauna. Synonyms, native, original, local. Antonyms, foreign, alien, imported. Here you should also think of one particular word, aboriginals. The native people, especially if you take the Australian country or continent, the native people of that particular area are known as aboriginals, an important word. A ween, we have got for the first time, or maybe once or twice. Part of speech verb, it's a regular verb, meaning gradually withdrawing someone or something from dependence on something. Gradually withdrawing someone or something from dependence on something. Look at the example. The process of weaning infants from breastfeeding should be done gradually to ensure their health. The process of weaning infants from breastfeeding should be done gradually, not all of a sudden, to ensure their health. It is a verb, a regular verb, Wean, uh, rely on, wean, weaned, weaning. Word combinations, weaning process, weaning of, weaning from. Withdraw, that's right. Synonyms, detoxify, not exactly in a way. Withdraw, you can consider. Break the habit, you can consider. 
antonyms dependence addiction and attachment here you have to think of one particular word break the habit there is a saying in english habits die hard what does it mean habits die hard means it is very difficult to change our habits especially bad habits habits die hard strive an important word though we have got many a time nothing wrong in learning part of speech a verb because the word forms are very important over here meaning to make great efforts to struggle or fight vigorously strive is a positive word to make great efforts to struggle or fight vigorously example despite facing numerous challenges he continued to strive for excellence in his work a very good sentence you have to remember despite facing numerous challenges he continued to strive for excellence a very good combination strive for excellence in his work why is this important strive present form strove past form and striven past participle you have to know the word forms striving present participle word combinations what are the prepositions strive for something strive towards something strive against something to struggle or fight vigorously then you use against synonyms endeavor exert aspire not exactly exert endeavor aspire better words antonyms relax surrender give up when you come across the word give up you have to think of another important phrasal verb give in give in means what surrender one word and the other word you have to think of the word yield yield has a positive meaning it has a negative meaning as a positive word it goes with agriculture crop as a negative word it goes with this one surrender or given important uh, phrasal verbs dreaded an important word part of speech adjective meaning feared or greatly feared causing great fear or apprehension dreaded more than fear fear also we can use apprehension something is dreaded means some sort of fear you have based on apprehension look at the example the storm brought with it the dreaded possibility of power outages and flooding there is one important word here generally in this part of the world we say power cut but if you go to the western countries they use power outage power outages important expression you have to remember the storm brought with it the dreaded possibility of power or power outages and flooding very good anusha dreaded awful threatening frightening intimidating ominous fearful dread it's a regular verb dreaded adjective it is also the verb word combinations dreaded event dreaded outcome dreaded scenario synonyms are feared alarming terrifying antonyms reassuring welcome and comforting and when you come across the word uh, terrify you have to recollect three words terrible terrify and uh, terrific terrible means very bad a negative word terrify frighten in a way that is also a negative word but terrific is a positive word something very good here you got to be careful usually if you listen to cricket commentary they say terrific shot means what very good shot it has a positive connotation premise an important word part of speech noun meaning a proposition supporting or helping to support a conclusion something that supports a particular stand taken or a particular hypothesis you can say look at the example the argument was based on the false premise that all accidents are avoidable the argument was based on the false premise means false stand that all accidents are avoidable that is not possible word forms only one form noun form word combinations basic premise underlying premise central premise these combinations are very important synonyms assumption hypothesis 
proposition, yes, Pavi theory also you can say, antonyms, conclusion, result, consequence. Bolster, an important word, we have got a few times. Me, part of speech verb, it's a regular verb, meaning to support or strengthen, to prop up or reinforce, reinforce, strengthen, one and the same. Look at the example. Additional evidence was introduced to bolster the prosecutor's case. Additional evidence was introduced to bolster, means to support or strengthen the prosecutor's case. Word forms, bolster verb, past form bolstered, and uh, present participle bolstering. Word combinations, bolster confidence, bolster argument, bolster the economy. When we do articles, editorials, we come across this, the third combination. It bolsters the economy. Synonyms, reinforce, support, strengthen. Antonyms, undermine, weaken, hinder. All these words are very important. Onerous, an important word, part of speech adjective, meaning involving a great amount of effort, difficulty or responsibility, burdensome. Another second part of it, burdensome. The new regulations placed an onerous burden on small, on small business. Means uh, they have to put in a lot of effort. Only one word form, word combinations, onerous task, duty, onerous duty, onerous obligation. Synonyms, arduous, demanding, oppressive. Antonyms, easy, manageable, light. Reprisal, this is also a new word we have got for the first time. Part of speech noun, meaning retaliation against someone for injuries received, an act of revenge. Retaliate, something like tit for tat, revenge. The country warned of reprisals if the attacks on its citizens did not cease. Means what? Did not stop. The country warned of reprisals if the attacks on its citizens did not Sees. Only one word form, noun form, reprisal. Word combinations, military reprisal, economic reprisal, diplomatic reprisal. These combinations are very important. Synonyms, retribution, that's an important word, vengeance, retaliation. And idiomatic expression, tit for tat. Antonyms, forgiveness, pardon, mercy. Counterattack also you can say, very good. Caveat, part of speech noun, meaning warning or cautionary terms or conditions, a stipulation or proviso. A proviso. Here, warning, it goes more with a warning. Uh, when it also, you can say. The contract came with several caveats regarding delivery times and quality standards. Means several stipulations, you can say, several conditions, several terms, all these words can be used. Caveat noun, plural form caveats. And word combinations, legal caveat, important caveat, specific caveat. And synonyms, caution, warning, condition, stipulation also you can say. Antonyms, assurance, guarantee, certainty. These are the words from today's editorial. Some of the words are very important. Let us go to the tone of the editorial. As I said, this is all about environment related, COP28. And uh, definitely, there's every possibility to get something like this in the exam as a passage. The tone of this editorial is both informative and critical. The writer presents facts and background information about the COP28 climate meeting, outlining the current situation, present situation, and the challenges faced in achieving global climate goals. Today, we all talk about climate change. So that way, it is an important editorial. How does it start? Time for action. Usually we talk about, some people keep talking and uh, no action. Then we say, time for action. Stop talking and get into action. Uh, both and no sooner, hardly. Why all these words? Have you come across anything specific to trigger? I appreciate. Uh, time for action on COP28 climate meeting in Dubai. But what is the main idea of this editorial? COP28 must compel, force its signatories to take definitive action.
I haven't brought the meaning because it's easy to understand. Some more words are there. For two reasons, I haven't brought the meanings. One, we have got many a time. Second, they are rather easy. No need to bring. Only important words I thought of bringing, I usually bring. Signatory, what does it mean? Try to guess the meaning. Already someone has written. Party signed who signed an agreement. Very good, Anusha. Here, signatories, a particular agreement. Uh, part some people sign, we use the term, must compel its signatories to take definitive action. This editorial is all about taking definitive action in a nutshell. Ah, based on that, you have written all those. Good. How does it start? The next fortnight, what is the meaning of the word fortnight? Those who signed, yes, Sajid, that's right. Two weeks, yes. The next fortnight, we'll see world leaders, industrialists, activists, and indigenous peoples. Here, people, some students ask me, sir, can we use the word people in the plural form? You can, depends on the context. Here, indigenous peoples means what? Different types, if you are talking about, different tribes you are talking about, then we can say indigenous peoples. There's a variation. Otherwise, indigenous people, one particular group, indigenous people, different groups from different parts of the world, we say indigenous peoples. Nothing wrong with that word. The next fortnight, we'll see, we'll see future tense, world leaders, industrialists, activists, and indigenous peoples converge. Converge means what? To meet. Very good. Already, Pavi has written the meaning. Convergence means meeting at a particular point. What is the opposite of convergence? Divergence. Converge at the 28th edition of the Conference of the Parties, COP, COP, Conference of the Parties. This annual affair, it happens every year. This annual affair is an attempt to inch ahead, means what? Move ahead, progress. This annual affair is an attempt to inch ahead on getting at least 190 countries, all members of the United Nations Climate Framework, to act on weaning their economies off fossil fuels. What do you understand from this? Getting at least 190 countries, and all these 190 countries are members of the UN, getting to act on weaning their economies off fossil fuels means withdrawing their dependence on fossil fuels. Today, it's, a known, it's an open secret. Everyone knows that. A lot of countries depend on fossil fuels. Weaning their economies of fossil fuels means that dependence on fossil fuels, uh, fuels should not be there, and they have to resort to renewable sources of energy. These are non-renewable sources of energy. We also use terms like fossil fuels, conventional sources of energy, non-renewable sources of energy. What is opposite? non-conventional sources of energy or renewable sources of energy like solar, wind, all these. Uh, the US, the UK, the Ukraine, uh, very good. I appreciate that within no time. The Netherlands, the Philippines, the Irish Republic. So it talks about countries should move away from fossil fuels in a nutshell. Their dependence on fossil fuels should not be there, should not continue. The current goal is to make good on a collective commitment made by countries in Paris. The current goal, what is the current goal? Is to make good on a collective commitment made by countries in Paris in 2015 to strive to hold global temperatures. Means to work very hard, put in a lot of efforts to hold global temperatures to no higher than 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels by the end of the century and definitely below two degrees Celsius. That is a goal. They are trying to, they're working very hard. They, but unfortunately, despite introduces contrasting information. Despite countries unanimously, without any opposition, agreeing that humanity will collectively bear a huge price if these limits are breached, and nearly all major economies are framing grand national plans to show how they are doing their bit. The science says that instead of being cut 8% annually, emissions have grown 1.2% from 21-22. A lengthy sentence. 
whenever you come across a lengthy sentence while reading the editorial do remember first reading not easy to comprehend nothing to worry you have to read twice thrice then you have to look at the phrases clauses you will be able to comprehend despite countries unanimously agreeing they all agreed on what that humanity will collectively collectively bear a huge price if these limits are breached what does it mean there is a limit 1.5 degrees celsius if that limit is breached it means violated humanity has to bear a huge price face the consequences it means face the consequences you may wonder you may ask sir why the word bear in red bear can be a noun as a noun animal polar bear grizzly bear brown bear teddy bear all these but as a verb it has many meanings usually i tell students one particular in a particular context i tell students bear past form bore but when it comes to past participle you have two different words one is born born the other one b o r n e born born means to give birth and b o r n e means to carry something this has been given many a time in different competitive exams to carry something water born diseases very good air born diseases immediately you have to recollect the combinations here the bear a huge price means they have to pay the price face the consequences if these limits are breached and nearly all major economies are framing grand national plans to show how they are doing their bit now countries are coming up with uh, plans grand national plans uh, plans to show how they are doing their bit means how they are contributing generally we say conversation english uh, what are you doing then we say i am doing my bit means i am doing what i am supposed to do and i am also contributing doing their bit in spite of all this the science says that instead of being cut 8% annually emissions have grown 1.2% from 2122 it did not go down uh, it has gone up at this rate the world will warm 2.5 to 3 degrees celsius by the end of the century that is going to be disastrous there have already been 86 instances just this year of global temperatures breaching the dreaded 1.5 degrees celsius threshold threshold means the peak the final point after that something may happen and here the dreaded most feared 1.5 degrees celsius threshold already 86 instances or incidents this year alone where the temperatures breached that dreaded limit in the nearly three decades of cop meetings the major economies have agreed on three broad principles it's an annual affair at the beginning of the editorial there is a sentence this is an annual affair means has been going on for quite some time and in the near in the nearly three decades of uh, cop meetings the major economies developed countries have agreed present perfect on three broad principles what are the three broad principles countries that rapidly industrialized in the 20th century have disproportionately emitted more carbon than their fair share given the population sustained with the same population imagine and uh, disproportionately emitted more carbon than their fair share so it talks about countries that rapidly industrialized in the 20th century the developed countries they have contributed disproportionately emitted more carbon than their fair share means whatever is acceptable fair share beyond that not acceptable economic growth premised on fossil fuel consumption the assumption that economic growth is based on depends on fossil fuel consumption while cheaper per unit than renewable energy energy why do people prefer or why do countries prefer uh, fossil fuels cheaper per unit than renewable energy renewable energy is expensive spells disaster now the sentence says the notion the theory the hypothesis that fossil fuel consumption economic growth premised on fossil fuel consumption while cheaper per unit than renewable energy spells disaster thinking that it is cheaper per unit than renewable energy 
and based on that you can expect economic growth that will definitely spell disaster spell disaster means what it is going to be catastrophic or make a tremendous negative impact on the planet earth and developing countries and those with minimal industrial infrastructure the previous sentence was talk about developed nations now it talks about developing nations like india and developing countries and those with minimal industrial infrastructure today must be compensated for adopting costlier but cleaner non fossil fuel sources for growing their economies now india is a developing country it has to switch to renewable sources of energy but these renewable sources are very expensive based on that they must be compensated for adopting costlier but cleaner non fossil fuel sources for growing their economies they need two things one is technology transfer regarding clean uh, renewable sources of energy second investments because they are very expensive there is also a consensus that the country is already weathering climate disasters means are facing climate disasters must be compensated and also paid to bolster their infrastructure some countries are uh, facing the music what does it mean they have been suffering they have been facing the consequences already weathering climate disasters they must be compensated and also paid to bolster strengthen their infrastructure however getting all countries to actually act on these principles is onerous given the mutual suspicion now what happens this is on in principle it looks good but getting all countries to actually act on these principles is onerous something very difficult given the mutual suspicion the spirit of deglobalization and the fear of political reprisal that heads of government face within their constituencies they cannot go against certain things and because of that this does not seem to be a practical approach not pragmatic these themes are expected to play out this year too means this year also same themes will emerge to show to come into existence two major issues are expected to take the stage or take the center stage the conclusion of the global stock take and the oper operationalization of the loss and damage fund these are the two major ideas however there is no clarity on the size of the fund and the individual contributions by countries nothing is specific here no on the no clarity on the size of the fund and the individual contributions by countries while cops by nature are self congratulatory self congratulatory a new expression when all they deliver are agreements with elaborate caveats cop 28 must strive usually what happens here annual fair they con self congratulatory when all they deliver but actually what happens over there they deliver only agreements all they deliver are agreements with elaborate caveats but this time the editorial opines cop 28 must strive to live up to its declared goal of being a conclave that compels its signatories to take definitive action the main idea is being reiterated so this particular meeting should live up to its declared goal what is that declared goal of being a conclave gathering that compels its signatories the member countries to take definitive action that is what expected and that is something uh, important these are that's all about the editorial these are the courses i'm offering right now only one is a live course that is a essay course for civil services other you have the recorded videos please have a look after the session let us go to questions based on this editorial uh, to improve your comprehension skill ha huh, conclave means gathering tripur sundari that's right live up to someone's expectations live up to the standards an important expression naidu what is the primary goal of the cop 28 climate meeting mentioned in the editorial what is the primary goal to celebrate previous achievements to address economic issues to compel signatories to take definitive action to discuss mutual suspicions among countries answer is c definitive action important expression what was the collective commitment made by countries in paris in 
which is referred to in the editorial. Collective commitment to increase fossil fuel consumption, to strive for global temperatures 2.5 to 3 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, to hold global temperatures to no higher than 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, to decrease economic growth based on renewable energy. It does not make any sense. So what is the answer? C is the answer. Second question also C. What does the editorial mention about global emissions from 21-22? 2022? 2021-2022, what does the editorial mention about global emissions? They decreased by 8% annually. They grew 1.2% annually. They remained constant. They were not mentioned in the editorial. Third one is B. They thought of reducing or decreasing by 8% annually, but on the contrary, they grew 1.2% annually. What are the two major issues expected to take the stage at COP28? Global warming and economic growth, the loss and damage fund and renewable energy, mutual suspicion and deglobalization, the global stock tick, and the loss and damage fund. It is not the first one. It is not the second one. It is not the third one. Definitely not the third one. Answer is the fourth one. The global stock tick and the loss and damage fund. What does the editorial suggest about the previous COP meetings? What does the editorial suggest about the previous COP meetings? They were highly successful. They were self-congratulatory without substantial outcomes. They focused on political reprisal. They ignored the spirit of deglobalization. Easy to answer. It is B. They were self-congratulatory, a new expression, without substantial outcomes. No substantial outcomes. Still self-congratulatory. That's all for today. I hope you guys have got enriched. Thanks for being with, being with me till the back end of the session. Do remember to subscribe and share. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope we will not have the technical glitch regarding the video. I hope you'll be able to see me tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. No, from December 1st, Varaprasad, not from Monday. I'm starting the new, the new video I mentioned yesterday from December 1st. That is day after tomorrow. You don't have to wait till Monday. That's what I'm telling Anusha from day after tomorrow from December 1st, specifically SBI clerk point of view, will be very useful. That's what I think. 